murder victim's mother willing to forgive her son's killer, but there's a catch. The Canton man must stay behind bars. Rod Matthews was only 14 years old when he beat a classmate to death just to see what it felt like to kill someone. Well, today, Matthews asked a parole board to let him out of prison. Christina Hager is live in Native Forest tonight. And Christina, the victim's mother is doing everything she can to fight this. Yeah, Lisa, it was 1986 when Rod Matthews killed Sean Ouellette with a baseball bat in Canton. He was sentenced to, he was convicted, rather, of second-degree murder and sentenced to life. Now he's 43 years old and says he is a changed man. Sean Ouellette's mother clutching a picture of her 14-year-old son 30 years after his murder. It's awful. And to realize that I have to keep doing this. Well, I beg to differ. Outside, protesters against paroling murderers. That's just what I was thinking. Inside, Rod Matthews, also 14, when he bludgeoned Ouellette to death, pleads with the kid. parole board, saying he was a kid trying to prove something to his friends. I wanted to tell him, you know, as sick as it sounds right now, to prove, to prove that I could murder him. <laughs> <laughs> Among the killer's supporters, Northeastern criminologist James Allen Fox, referencing the recent Supreme Court ruling that paved the way for juvenile murderers to get a shot at parole. The portion of the brain that controls our ability to think things through and consider long-term consequences doesn't fully develop for adolescents, doesn't fully develop until late adolescence or early uh, adulthood. Someone who always has her back. Ouellette's sister speaking via Skype on a laptop, too afraid, her mother says, to be in the same room with Matthews, who got a profound message from Ouellette's mother. And I have forgiven you, Rod, but there is a difference, like I've said before, between forgive and forget. I have been able to survive through all of this because I have done that. It's not the first time Matthews has heard that, not the first time he's been before the parole board here. He's been denied in the past. This time it could be weeks or even months before a decision. In Natick, Christina Hager, WBZ News, David, Lisa, back to you.